This is the classic populace on the Amiga. This is a request by Sean Seanston, Tony Fryer 70, and Axor Black. And would you believe it? This is a game that I haven't properly played before. I had it back on the Atari ST, but I never really knew what I was doing because I was curiously without the manual. And uh, yeah, so. Now, this is, okay, start on the first level, Genesis. And we begin with this very atmospheric music and the Book of Worlds here. And these are the, this is the, uh, basically, you are, you are a, or I am a god. This is the, the original god game. And... The idea is that basically it uses the Terry Pratchett model of deities, which is that they only exist, uh, these gods only exist because people believe in them. And because the more people who believe in and worship them, the more powerful they become. And the more powerful they become, the more followers you can have. So, it's, uh, you know, quite a nice uh, sort of parody of religion, if you like, in that gods only exist because we believe in them, taken to its literal extreme, which is uh, always amusing to me. <laughs> so, what I'm doing here is uh, using my godly powers to reshape the world as I see fit. Raising and lowering the landscape here, uh, in order that my people can expand and build these more sturdy structures. You can see up here. Ah, now this ank means this is my leader, I guess. I think. And over here are the bad guys, because as we know, there's always pure good and pure evil, especially in religion. So, you know, probably the guy, uh, you know, the guy who wins is the good guy, usually. That's, uh, my exp oh, I fucked up his house. Oh, but he built another one. <laughs> if God destroys your house, just build another one exactly the same place. I'm sure that's what he wanted you to do. Um, so basically, the more, the more followers you have, um, the more ability you have to affect change in the world. And that's indicated by this marker here, which is your mana box. It just went up. And uh, the most basic power you have is to raise and lower the land. Um, let's see. Now, I think that... I'm not sure what that means. I did... Hang on. I did, I did know what these things mean. Um, how do I get them to reproduce? <laughs> I think that is uh, settle. And this gets them to sort of band together, and this makes them go to the Ankh, which is my uh, sort of holy symbol, which is carried by my leader guy. And I can get info on him if I do this, and I can see some data on him, and this is... Uh, not sure exactly, but I'll figure it out. That zooms to him. Uh, let's see. Wait, how do I go back to... Oh, there we go. Raise and lower land. Okay, so I think they will just uh, spontaneously reproduce as long as I keep creating more land for them to to live on, because they're in settle mode. Um, not sure though. Might be doing something wrong. Wouldn't be unusual for me. <laughs> Come on, reproduce, make babies <laughs> that will worship me. I need a better name than Jim if I'm going to be a god. What kind of god name is Jim? It should be like Jim Hover. Or Jim Arway. <laughs> or, yeah. Or maybe, uh... Hmm, not good with names. Yeah. So maybe if I use the leader to, uh... Let's see. I can put my... Put my ank here, and then, yeah. 
Tell the leader to go to the Yank. Maybe. See what happens. I did watch a video by uh, the Joy of Sticks where he played this and. Oh look, they are reproducing. There you go. Oh no, wait. I think that was because I destroyed one of their uh, castles. But look, one of them's doing something. So I might, he might just be going to that ank because I kind of told him to. All right, settle. Oh, you're going in there. Okay. Well, my mana's going up, so I must be doing something right. Uh, but there's quite a lot of these guys. So yeah. Yeah, I saw this a video by the Joy of Sticks, and he sort of uh, basically did a sort of quick let's play and talk through it. So, and he was quite informative about what everything did, so that was quite helpful. Um, but it's always different when you actually play it yourself. It seems easier to figure out when you're watching it than when you're actually playing it. Uh, let's see. I think I fucked this up a bit. Oh dear, sorry. <laughs> Your god is. Stupid. There we go. Ah, and it made more people, and they're gonna spread out. Yes, they must be. They must be fucking. What else is there to do in this primitive world? Go forth and be fucking people. Yeah. Go forth and multiply. That's what I meant. Ah, I can only raise or lower land in sight of my followers. So, that's why I couldn't do it just off the edge there. So yeah, this is a game by the great Peter Molyneux, who went on to make Black and White, which was another god game. Much more sophisticated, of course. Um, yeah, and it had that great uh, pet that you could slap about and punish. It's always been uh, kind of games where you don't have less than direct control over your creations or followers or whatever, which is an interesting approach. It's creates some interesting gameplay challenges. So it looks like I've got some more power, and it seems that I have enough to create a knight who I can use to attack the evil enemies. And that's good because I uh, seem to have uh, less power than the enemy, which is indicated here. Rather than that's my power and that's his power. So uh, let's uh, let's make a knight. Wicked. There he is. Now I can. I think he'll just automatically start trying to go for the enemy and attack. So I should make a little land bridge. Oh, gotta wait for him to. There we go. So that he can uh, make his way across and start killing the evil skull worshippers. Cool. It's like this is uh, it's quite compelling evidence of the existence of a god when you just you know seeing the land miraculously reshape in front of you uh, as you seek out your sworn enemy and you can draw a direct correlation between the amount of uh, manipulation of the land that goes on and the number of followers of this religion that convinced me <laughs> wouldn't take much come on there. Now he can reach them. And you can also, there's a number of powers here. This is Flood, Volcano, Armageddon, Earthquake, Create the Night, which I've already done, and Swamp. And uh, I don't think I want to use a Swamp around him because he'll, uh, my knight can get killed. Ah, there we go. The knight is destroying and killing in the name of good. Holy Crusade. Yeah. Well, I wonder if I can do this. Yeah. I can just lower the land and destroy his uh, settlements because my knight is in the area. That's pretty funny. Yeah, burn it down. <laughs> Let's see, what other powers can I use? I can use Earthquake. Let's do that. I'm going to do that over here. 
you can do this uh, even though you don't have a line of sight because it's this sort of special power. Look at that! Cracked the land to pieces. That's wicked. Oh look, there's his skull icon. That's the equivalent of the ankh for him. And I can use this to zoom to the night. There we go. I want to get the volcano power. That's got to be cool. Hit. Yeah. So he's he's still got quite a lot of power over me, but I'm attacking him and he's not attacking me, so that should change soon. Now that seems to the ankh. This seems to the night. Or that or we're hmm. not sure. Oh, anyway. Well, it seems that they're expanding, they're settling. So I should probably make some more land for them. Fucking lazy people. Humanity had to set, settle the lands without assistance from a deity. Or well, maybe you believe otherwise. Yeah. Probably shouldn't talk about this kind of thing because it gets people's ire up. And I know that while most people in the UK don't really give a shit about religion, um, in America it's a big thing and about half my, uh, not half, but half, like, I've got basically the same number of people in, according to my analytics or insight as it used to be called, about half my subscribers I was about to say followers, but I'm in this god mode, I'm thinking of them as... <laughs> yeah, our, um, our... Yeah, there's, there's like a large portion from the UK, a large portion from the US, and a few from Europe. Um, all over. So, and I know that the US tends to be rather more religious than the UK. So, I'm not here to offend anyone. Just making stupid jokes, don't take it too seriously. You know, if you've ever read Terry Pratchett, this theory of God being a creation of uh, a creation of believing in him should be very familiar. Now, have, has my knight died? I think he has. He's been killed. So, should I make another one, or should I make a volcano? I'll just wait for that to grow a little bit more, and then I'll make a volcano. 